I'm going to show you how to make dog treats. So, the first thing you want to do is preheat your oven to 375 um, degrees Fahrenheit because I know some people have Celsius and I don't know what that is. So, yeah. Um, the materials and ingredients you will be needing is one teaspoon of baking powder, one third cup of oats, one cup of flour. Um, I think it could be any flour. I know people like to use, um, I think it's called wheat flour. Um, I'm just using all purpose flour because that's all I have, so yeah. Um, I'm not really going to pick this up and move it because. It's half cup of water and it's not in a measuring cup, it's just in a measure, I don't know. <laughs> um, a utensil to stir with, I'm just using a spoon, you can use a knife, a fork, your hands, whatever you want. And a mixing bowl. The optional things are an egg, which I'm using an egg because it gives a shiny coat on your dog. So, so I'm using an egg. Oh, another um, ingredient that you will need is peanut butter. There's no exact measurements. I'm just going to use a couple spoonfuls of peanut butter. So, yeah. um, honey, then again, completely optional. I'm just using honey because I think it, I don't know, I'm just using honey. <laughs> and there's not an exact measurement for that either. And the last thing that you will be needing is cookie cutters. Um, it can be any size. Mine are very small. I'm not even going to try to open it. Okay, so let's get started. So, the first thing I'm going to do is add all my dry ingredients. So, one teaspoon of baking powder, one third cup of oats, one cup of flour, and then I'm just going to mix that very quickly. So, once you've mixed that all together, to add all of your wet ingredients. So a half cup of water, one egg. If you are using an egg, you don't have to, like I said. Um, I'm just going to use eight cup full spoonfuls of peanut butter. So about like that plus about that. So that's the thing I'm going to be using to stir. So that makes it easier for me. And then just a little bit of honey. Um, I'm just going to use about like that much. Sorry about that, my camera just fell. <laughs> um, and once you stir that, then, or I'll be right back once I stir. <laughs> Sorry. So once yours is pretty much stirred, um, I'm just going to add a little bit of flour to my counter, and um, you might want to wash your counter before you do this, just so you don't have any germs or anything on there, and then just 
place <laughs> and then just place your um, dough type thing. It still might be a little runny. Mine is. Um, I thought it was a little bit more mixed, but that's okay. Just place that on the surface of your counter. And this is going to get a little messy, so let me just set that aside. And you're going to use your hands. <laughs> so I'm just going to get that off my spoon. And my dog's right here, so I'll have him lick that. So. Okay, that's it. And you might want to kind of put flour on your hands. So then the stuff doesn't really stick to your hands. And just work it until it looks like dough. And I have no clue how I'm going to pause you. So you may have to keep adding flour until you get a dough and it doesn't stick to your hands anymore. Um, mine stuck really bad, so I added a lot more dough. I mean, not <laughs> flour. Um, and I just washed them, and it doesn't stick anymore. So you're just going to flat flat, flatten this out, and I'll be right back once I have done that. So once your dough is flattened out to about, like, that thick, maybe, um, you're just going to cut some shapes out. So I'll be right back once I So I forgot to mention this, but um, you will need... A baking sheet with some tin foil on it and this is where you're going to be placing your cut out um, pieces whatever so that's how small mine are so I'll be back once um, I've cut everything out um, once you've filled one layer you're going to ball it back up um, flatten it out again and redo it until you are left with either no dough or um, little scraps of it. So I'll be back once I'm done doing it. So my camera um, died. So I put them in the oven. Um, you put them in there for 10 to 12 minutes if you want them um, chewy and if you want them crunchy they can be in there uh, as long as as 20 minutes so okay high five there you go